Hello. I'm going to record a video going over how to evaluate expressions, also known as order of operations, also known as PEMDAS, which we're going to talk about here in a second. Um, go ahead and glue this page into your notebook and then the one following it with example problems on the next page. And then in your table of contents, I went ahead and titled mine evaluating, if I can find it, evaluating expressions. And then I just kind of hyphenated it because it's two pages. So once you have those glued in and you're ready to take notes, we are going to be on this page. Okay. We are first going to talk about expressions and equations again, which shouldn't be new information. So our goal here is to be able to use and evaluate numerical expressions with parentheses, brackets, or braces. So an expression is, there we go, a number sentence that does not have an equal sign. Okay, up until this point we've been dealing with pretty much just expressions. We did start one step equations, some of you did. Okay, an equation is a number sentence with an equal sign. And both sides must be balanced. So they have to equal the same amount on both sides. Okay, you should have those notes somewhere else in your notebook as well, but it's just a good reminder <clears throat> for you. Okay, so now these little blocks down here are kind of, um, they're just a symbol to help us remember in which order we evaluate expressions because that's the most important part and that's really the whole point of PEMDAS or order of operations. So when you have an equation with more than one operation in it, so plus minus, add, multiply, divide, subtract, like the expressions that we've been working on writing, those are what we are going to work on solving. So up until this point, I've told you not to solve. Today, I'm telling you to solve. And this is the order of how you solve them. So parentheses, brackets, braces, from the inside out. So parentheses, brackets, braces. We're going to write that right next to it. Parentheses, brackets, braces. You always work from the inside out, and that'll make sense when we actually do them. E is exponents, which in fifth grade we don't really do a whole lot of order of operations with exponents, but remember that's the little, um, like the little symbol, that's the exponent, okay? So exponents is next in your order of operations. Then multiply, divide, or divide, multiply, whichever comes first. And it's important to remember, and there's arrows over here to remind you, 
you always work left to right. So it's like when you read a book. So if I have a multiplication problem that comes before a division problem when I'm moving left to right, you do multiply first. If I have a division problem and then a multiplication problem moving left to right, I do division first. So it's, that's what this means, whichever comes first. And it works the same way with add or subtract, whichever comes first. And if it's helpful, draw that little arrow. Okay, so we didn't actually do any math on this page. This is more of like a reference page for you to look at when you forget the order of operations. So I want you to turn to the next page and we're actually going to use this to help us solve these. Okay, and the nice thing is they kind of give us a little reminder here to help us. Okay, so look at the first example. And we're gonna start off pretty simple. Okay, I have divide, add, multiply, add. Okay, now when I do these problems, I always bring them down and then bring the other operation down with it. That will be helpful when we get into more complex order of operation problems, so it's a good habit to get into now. Let me show you what I mean. So, out of these, I have division and multiply, okay? That's before adding and subtracting. Division comes before multiplying when I go left to right, so I'm gonna start right here with 25 divided by five. So I'm gonna drop it down like this. 25 divided by five is five. And then I'm gonna bring down everything else. So I still have a plus 10 times three plus four. Okay, now what comes next in the order of operations? I don't have any more division, but I do have a multiplication, and that's next in the order of operations. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna solve it. 10 times three is 30. Then I drop down the plus four that is behind it. I drop down the five plus that is in front of it. Okay, now I move from left to right again. 30 plus five is 35. Bring down the plus four. 35 plus 4 is 39. So that is my answer. Okay, let's try another one. I have multiply, divide, add, multiply. Okay, moving left to right, I have multiply and divide, and multiply comes first when I move left to right. So I'm going to solve that first. 2 times 9 is 18. I bring down everything else divided by 3 plus 2 times 3. Okay, now I have divide, add, multiply. Divide and multiply are on the same step, but I move left to right, so I'm going to divide first. 18 divided by 3 is 6 plus 2 times 3. Again, I'm bringing everything down. I have add and multiply left, which comes first. The multiplication comes first, so I'm gonna multiply two times three, which is six, plus six, and that equals 12. Okay, and it makes a difference. If you weren't to multiply before you add, you would have six plus two, which is eight, times three, which is 24, which is not the same thing as 12. So order of operations does matter. Okay. Down here, we have some parentheses and brackets, and we're going to work from the inside out. So what the inside out means, the innermost parentheses you do first, and then you eventually go outside of the brackets. So when looking at this, I'm going to do parentheses first because it's inside. Okay, so 10 plus 2 is 12. I'm going to bring everything down including 
my bracket. Okay, so 10 plus 2 is 12. I solved that. I brought it down. I got rid of my parentheses. My parentheses are gone, but I still have my brackets. So I do everything inside of my brackets before I move outside of the brackets. Okay, so now we'll just pretend this is gone. I have divide or add. Well, down here, division comes first. So I'm going to divide this 24 and 12. So 24 divided by 12 is 2. And I still have this plus 3, and that stays in my brackets. Bring down the multiplied by 2. Okay, I have one more operation in my brackets. 2 plus 3 is 5. Then I bring down the times 2. Now my brackets are gone. Okay, now I can just multiply. 5 times 2 is 10. It's kind of like a little puzzle. Okay, our last example has two sets of parentheses and a multiplied by six and then I add. Okay, so I start with my parentheses. I'm gonna do this set of parentheses first, then I'm gonna do this set of parentheses. Okay, so 12 minus five, sorry, is seven. So I have six times seven plus, and I still have this in parentheses. Okay, now I have to complete my other set of parentheses before I can do anything else. 15 divided by three is five. Bring down the seven, bring down the six. Okay, now I multiply before I add. So 6 times 7 is 42. Bring down the plus 5. 42 plus 5 is 47. Okay, those might seem a little overwhelming. These should be pretty doable for starting out fifth grade. So now what I want you to do is open your trolls booklet and you're gonna complete a few practice problems in there. So, I'm gonna do a few with you on 26 and then I'm gonna let you work independently. Okay, so this is page, what I marked as 26 or 69 in your booklet. It says evaluate the numerical expression. Evaluate means solve. So, have your little chart out next to you and use it to refer to. So I have 10 plus 36 divided by 9. The first thing, and they kind of give you a hint right here, I need to divide first, okay? If you don't like this, if they don't give you as much room as you need, then you can do scratch paper, do the back of a piece of paper, do lined paper, okay? I want to make sure that you get the problem correct and that you have enough space. So 36 divided by 9 is 4, and I bring down the plus 10. 10 plus 4 is 14. Okay. Number 2. I'm going to start with my P parentheses. 25 minus 10 is 15. Bring down, divided by 5 and plus 10. Okay. Division comes before adding. So I'm going to divide. 15 divided by 5 is 3. Bring down my plus 10. The answer is 13. Okay, I want you to go ahead and pause the video. Work on this one by yourself and then check your answer. So push pause because I'm about to work it out and give you the answer. When you're done, go ahead and click play and check your answer. Okay, so I have subtraction, multiplication, and parentheses, and addition. So I'm gonna start with my parentheses because that comes first. Three times two is six. Bring down the plus eight and the nine minus. Okay, now I can work from left to right. So nine minus six is three plus 
8, I bring that down, my answer is 11. Okay, I don't want you to worry about 11 or 12, but I want you to go ahead and work through this page. This right here, number 8, 9, and 10, they want you to place the parentheses around any of these numbers to make it equal the given value. Okay, that's a little bit of a challenge. When you feel good about that page and you are done, then I want you to turn to page 28. Don't worry about number 10, and I want you to do these practice problems. Okay, feel free to reach out if you have any questions. I hope this video was helpful.